What's up my sweet, sweet little angels? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day today. I am enjoying the Danish sun for once, so that's exciting, but I'm mostly excited because today we get to talk about one of my favorite topics, and that's organization, how I organize, my whole life, my favorite organization tools. I've learned a lot of things throughout the years. I've been that unorganized mess in the past, and now I just found a way and a system that is so simple and so minimal, but really, really works for me. And it's a system that doesn't take up my time, but instead creates more time for me. So that's key when it comes to organization. In the past, I would try so many things and I would just like waste so much time by trying so many different systems and setting it all up and then not following through, repeating the whole cycle. It takes time to find your own system. So I'm very excited that I found mine. It's pretty much all on Notion. Notion is a godsend. In my humble opinion, it's the best organization system out there. You have so many options and freedom to just create a system that works for you. It's so customizable. It's just happiness. So I am very, very happy and grateful that this video is sponsored by Notion. I don't even have to say this. You guys know how much I love it. So I'm gonna link Notion down below if you wanna try it out for yourself. And I'm gonna provide different templates that you can try out um, for me. So if you like some of my organization, you can totally copy it and try it out. And yeah, all of that is gonna be in the description box. I've done a few Notion tours in the past, but my Notion is just refined now. I don't know if it can be better, to be honest. Like it's just so minimal and I just have things that I use pretty much every day. Oh, so happy. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna be looking down here because that's where my computer is and I'm gonna break it all down for you. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so this is my Notion dashboard. This is basically my Notion hub. All the pages that I've created, everything is in here. I really like to make my notion very minimal, but also like aesthetically pleasing, just so it's something that I like wanna go to every single day. So I have chosen like a little cover. You can like find photos from here, that's what I did. Or you can also upload your own photo, which I'll show you later how I like to use this, a little trick if you will. And then I use a little emoji, just like things to make it look really cute. And then I also used a little GIF and a little quote. And then I just like to kind of section it off using some like nice pastel-y colors. Makes me happy. Before I break down all of my little categories and pages, I always favorite the ones that I'm using that month. So it's my March little planning system. And then I've got finances, which I use every single day, dashboard, yearly planning goals and content hub. These are basically all my pages that I need every single day. So I just like to keep them here for quick, easy access, you know? Okay, let's break it all down. So I've got my just life category, which is basically my daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, quarterly plans, okay? This is where I break down my whole life, <laughs> like all of my goals plans, everything is in here. And then I've got finances, and then I've got the business section, which is just like my content hub page, where I break down everything. Everything related to my job is in here. And then I've also got schoolwork, which we're just gonna go through really quickly because I don't really use Notion for school, really, because I like to write things down when it comes to like studying. I just, I remember things better for some reason. So yeah, but I do use it for a few things. So we're gonna go through that. Okay, so let's open up and kind of go through, break down my yearly plan and goals page, which is actually a new addition to my Notion. I created this at the beginning of this year and it's been like the best, planning system of my life. So my little trick that I mentioned before is that I use my dream boards, vision boards, mood boards, anything like inspirational as the cover, just because that keeps me inspired and motivated. And obviously I see this every single day, so it's just very effective. And I love the little reminder every day. Um, and then this is the whole page. As I said, it's very minimal, like my notion is very simple, 
um, nothing too fancy, but that's just what works for me and that's what helps me to stay consistent with it. Um, I actually found this template from someone else. I'll try to find it and link it down below, but I definitely tweaked it to just fit my own needs. So I have a little word of the year, which for me is focus. I want to just stay on track with what i want to create this year so these are all of my goals and then i have like sort of when i'm gonna do them um so i can pick the tag here so quarter one quarter two and then status i actually kind of need to update this um a lot of the goals that i have are just goals that i am working towards throughout the whole year so this is actually kind of hard to track but i track it all in my quarterly goals pages which we'll go through um and then just the type of goal that it is so either personal financial business goal oh it says 2021 <laughs> um good morning <laughs> let's go into quarterly goal so this is my quarter one page which we're using right now so on the left here i've got my monthly goals broken down and just like my plans for the month the week the days so i'll open this up later and show you um, and then on the right here, I have my top three priorities. So this is how I sort of break down my goals into quarters and then later on months, weeks, days. Um, it's just like a nice way to track what's most important to me at the moment. And then I have the end of quarter review. I obviously haven't used this yet because it's not the end of quarter one yet, but I thought that this would be like a really cute way um, just so I can have it all in here. And yeah, I'm just excited to do that. Let me know if you want to see a video of like my end of the quarter review and then a plan for the new quarter so I can really show you all of these sort of things that I do in action. But let's go to my March page. So again, there's a little vision board, dream board, and then I've got the breakdown of my goals. This is obviously a monthly breakdown, which I probably refer back to the most out of all of my little goal breakdown situation. <laughs> so I have my financial and business goals and I use a little toggle list and just a to-do list to tick it off and then i've got my top three priorities which for this month is consistent content i want to get into tiktok and reels which i've been doing and it's been making me so happy so um that's a little business goal but it's just like a happiness goal because it's just so fun um and then stick to a workout routine this is the only one that we really really need to start working towards it's just a great way to see what i really really want to focus on this month and then I've got my weekly planning. So this is where I break down my weeks. Again, I've got this week's top three priorities. I always refer back to the breakdown of my goals when I um, create these. And then I have just like a little weekly to-do list. So um, again, I just use the notions to-do list option. <laughs> and that's how i break it all down i know i have a lot of like goal breakdowns but that's just what keeps me on top of things um in the past i would just write like my yearly goals and then at the end of the year when i was reflecting back i just like forgot what my goals even were um so this is just a system that really really works for me so that's the first like big page done and now let's go to finances so this is how my finances page for 2022 looks like i literally use this every single day um mostly the budget which i'll show you later um but on the side here i have a sponsorship finance tracker which all of this looks very bare i know it's because i'm making this video i obviously these are kind of personal things so yeah so what i used to create these sort of tables is uh let's go down i use table database when you create a new column you have so many options so you can do like a number select which i've done here so this is just how i write the brand name in like a cute way <laughs> and then amount let's do number and then you can also format it so here i'm going to use euros because that's what i use um so when i write write like 50 for example it puts it into euros and then i use the little um date section so i can just pick the day in a little calendar which is really useful and then i can tick here if it's paid or not this is obviously the to-do list section and then notes 
you also can pick like a little url which i use a lot this is like my favorite thing to use in notion you'll see that i use these tables pretty much everywhere in my notion very similar when it comes to savings in terms of other finance pages i've got my wish list which i can show you um so here i just write down what i want to buy and then i can tick it off when i buy it i can pick whether it's equipment or like homeware stuff whatever else these are just things that are a bit more expensive usually i'm trying to limit just like sporadic spending <laughs> so this is just like a great way to do it i write the price and then i put the link that takes me directly to the item that i want to buy and then i've got my yearly financial comparison page obviously mine is completely filled up but I've been kind of tracking my finances since 2018 when I officially like opened my business and so I write down my income every single month so I can really see just how things are improving if there's any patterns in terms of like which months I make more or less money it helps me to prepare for that it's just like an amazing way to just be on top of your finances and I also use this um, I pick some and then I just calculates all of these so you can see your yearly income as well which is really helpful and then the page that i use every single day is my budget this is again an empty one so the first table is where i write down my income with like different income streams and then i have an expenses tracker mine is a lot longer but this is just an example and then you can add your own like this I like to track all of my expenses. I like to know where my money goes and where I can improve just so I can save more, which brings me to my next little table where it's just like a breakdown of the whole year. So I write my monthly income, how much I saved, the percentage of my income that I saved, and then all of my expenses. And then here I can also write an income goal. I would obviously do this before the month begins just so I can keep my goals in mind. Okay, let's move on to my little business section where I have my content hub. I use this every day as well. It's honestly very inviting to me. For some reason, I love this page. Maybe it's the little sun gif, gif, whatever. I love it. So. I've got a little business section where I track my performance. I'm not going to open these just because obviously sensitive personal information. The content section is a bit more of an exciting category. So here I have all of my video ideas. This is the board view. So I write down the little category of the video. So whether it's a changing my life video, habits or organization, routines, challenges, lifestyle blah 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 and then i just write them down so when i have no idea what to film i go in here i pick something that looks interesting and then i put it into this video tracker table situation so i have a little template that i use for that so this is how i plan my videos that's just the best way for me to Stay on top of planning my videos and to just be consistent with it and then i have a status so i can pick whether it's an idea it's already published it's in the filming process i have the publish date that i can choose um, a sponsor if the video is sponsored and then type of videos um, and then performance so this is where i kind of track the views here i have a little tick if it's like impressive like if the video is doing really really well just so i can kind of see what you guys are loving and what you want to see more of and then i have the url of the video once it's posted and then i have music for my videos which i kind of need to update but this is where i write the name this is honestly so helpful where the music is from because obviously copyright and then the vibe this is so helpful because whenever i'm trying to find like music for my videos i'm always like i just want something chill or i want something like really funky and then here i can just go and see um what the vibe is and then <laughs> listen to it um and then obviously i need to put that music in the description box so here i can just copy it and then i also have my instagram ideas which are similar to the videos the only thing here is that i write the caption and then pretty much the same thing for tiktok okay and then the last little section or category is schoolwork. and as i said i mostly physically write 
everything or most things when it comes to school. I like to use my iPad um, and the little pen. It's just my favorite way to do it. But I do use Notion for things that I need to refer back to all the time. So whether it's like assignment requirements, dates for like different exams and stuff like that. Um, or I also made some notes in here. The only time that I use um, Notion for my notes is for books that I need to read for class, um, just because I can really easily link all of the resources um, and do a little analysis in like a very clear, <laughs> minimal way. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the only time, just because it's so like simple to look through. There are definitely like amazing ways to use Notion for school. Um, but as I said, we're all different. There's so many videos on YouTube of how people use Notion for school So check those out if you're a student because it can really be so 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 helpful um, But yeah, I'm just a bit old school when it comes to school, <laughs> but that's it for my video. I really hope you guys Enjoyed it. I hope it inspired you to get a little more organized I'll link all of the templates that I use down below and notion of course so you can sign up and use it for free So thank you again to notion for sponsoring let me know in the comments how you like to stay organized. I've tried pretty much every single method, so <laughs> I would love to hear yours. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye.